Hello everyone, I'm Sang Hoon Lee at Gyeonggi University, Seoul, Korea. Now I'd like to talk about research and practice at Gyeonggi University Medical Center. Let's start with some photos of Gyeonggi University. This is Gyeonggi University's main administrative building. It looks nice. And this is the Peace Hall. It is a big auditorium. Sometimes famous K-pop concerts or film festivals are held here. This is a new building of the College of Korean Medicine. Gyeonggi University has two branch hospitals. The main hospital has been open since 1971. It has Biomedicine Hospital, Korean Medicine Hospital, and Dental Hospital, and Cancer Center. The second branch hospital is located in the eastern part of the Seoul. It has been open since 2006. Gyeonghee University Korean Medicine Hospital is the nation's first Korean medicine hospital to receive certificate of accreditation from the Ministry of Health and Welfare in Korea. And it always has the first Korea brand power index in Korean medicine field in all the surveys every year. Our College of Korean Medicine is quite strong at acupuncture research. This article was published in 2011. It was written by famous Chinese acupuncture researcher, Dr. Han Ji Xiong, in the Journal of Neuroscience and Behavioral Reviews. The title is Global Trends and Performances of Acupuncture Research. In this article, Kyung University was the top institute which published acupuncture articles at the time. This article was another article published later. The title is Trend in Global Acupuncture Publications, an analysis, analysis of the Web of Science database from 1988 to 2015. The authors are mostly Taiwanese researchers. In this article, Gyeonggi University was also the top institute which published acupuncture articles at the time from 1988 to 2015. This picture shows the traditional way of making herbal medicine. Gyeonggi University has modernized the system and developed various types of herbal medicine such as decoction, powder, capsule, ointment, shampoo, goggling solution, pill, jelly, and candy type herbal medicine. This one is very popular herbal medicine in our hospital for weight control. This candy type of herbal medicine is good for sore throat or dry mouth. The ointment is made of the human placenta for cosmetic purposes like brightening the skin color. This one is a skin toner made in our pharmacy department. This, this capsule type herbal medicine is for lowering high cholesterol. This pill is a traditional type of medicine for stroke. Let's talk about the research facilities in Kyung University Korean Medicine Hospital. We have a modernized clinical trial center for traditional medicine. The Korean government and Seoul Metropolitan Government supported in building this center. The special featured world has 10 beds for preclinical and early phase trial with a 24-hour monitoring system. For example, when a new herbal medicine is being developed, it is possible to observe the vital signs for 24 hours after administration of 
the herbal medicine and study the pharmacokinetics through blood sampling. In order to conduct rigorous randomized controlled trials, placebo medicine is necessary. Placebo herbal medicine should look and feel very similar to experimental drug. This is a specialized experimental room for acupuncture research. We call it independent procedure and monitoring room. We have four procedure rooms and two monitoring rooms. This is a one-way glass window. The patient inside cannot see the observers outside the window. They can just see themselves just like a mirror. But the observers can see the behavior of patient or monitor the condition of patient through this one-way glass window. The room has a soundproof wall and door to minimize outside interference. And there are many multi-biosignal monitoring devices like EEG, EMG, heart rate variability, and galvanic skin response. So we can check the changes of many biosignals before and after acupuncture procedure. There are several types of placebo acupuncture in the world. This is a placebo acupuncture invented by me and my colleagues. This placebo needle is similar to the real acupuncture needle using guide tube. Have you ever heard about phantom acupuncture? It is an interesting acupuncture research methodology. A biomedical engineering professor developed this and published this article with Harvard University professors. It is for dissociating somatosensory and cognitive affective components of acupuncture stimulation with a novel form of placebo acupuncture. In this research, the subject can see the ceilings monitor and they cannot see what happened on the body below the screen. Sometimes the subject take real acupuncture needling and see the needling on the monitor. Sometimes the subject did, doesn't take real acupuncture and just see the previous treatment pre-recorded needling video under the same setting. Interestingly, blinding success rate is significantly high, which means many patients feel and react as if they take real acupuncture even when taking a placebo treatment. Please refer to this article for more details. This is a real set for phantom acupuncture. There's a monitor on the ceiling. There's a screen between the patient eye, eyes and the needling site. There are a video recorder and medical devices to monitor each session's biosignals before and after acupuncture. Multidisciplinary research is getting important now. We use electroacupuncture many times in daily practice, but the conventional electroacupuncture device is big and needles are frequently bent or pulled out due to the long wires and heavy clips. And it does not have any sensors to check the patient's response to electrostimulation. This coincides wearable electroacupuncture device was originally developed by a KAIST professor's team. KAIST is a prestigious engineering school in Korea. I collaborated with this team to upgrade this device. We are developing a new electroacupuncture device which has the function of real-time feedback control with embedded sensors and stimulators. In the fields of acupuncture, there are not many useful devices. For example, back shoe points are located along the paraspinal area. Back shoe points are representative points of body organs like heart, lung, stomach, etc. In biomedicine or chiropractic, this area 
is important and it is related to the spinal segments and autonomic nervous system. Traditionally, we can just palpate or check the color. However, there is no way to get objective measurement on back shoe point. This is what I invented with medical engineering department professors. By measuring skin impedance on the back shoe point, we can check the balance of both right, left and right side and balance among major body organs. We have East-West Medical Research Institute. It is a WHO collaborating center for traditional medicine. It was firstly designated in Korea in 1988, and every four years it has been redesignated until now. Our recent roles as a WHO collaborating center are participating in WHO project, quality ensuring, evidence-based medicine, and education for developing traditional medicine. Now let me introduce recent Korean medicine treatment modalities at Kyung University Medical Center. We use many types of treatment modalities as well as traditional acupuncture devices. The left one is traditional warm needling. After needle insertion, moksa wool is attached on the needle. This is a combined therapy of acupuncture and moxibustion, but it makes smelling and a lot of smoke. So now in Korea, we use electronic moxibustion. There is a hole in the middle, so after the needle insertion, we can attach this one on the needling point. This has rechargeable battery. The temperature and heating duration are digitally controllable. This is traditional dermal acupuncture. Needles are inserted in broad area, shallowly. This is a modernized roller type acupuncture device. If we make micro injuries on the skin, they activate our healing process and more collagen synthesis. This is an electric dermal acupuncture. It has functions of depth control and speed control. It also has pre-programmed stimulation modes such as whitening, elastic, reducing the pores, and stretch mark, and hair growth, fine wrinkles, skull management, etc. Telegraph in the UK published interesting news. Facial acupuncture is the Hollywood star's shortcut to younger looking skin. One of the celebrities to get face cosmetic acupuncture are Madonna, Guinness Paltrow, and Cher. This picture is the surface temperature on the face before and after acupuncture. Let's compare the temperature before and right after acupuncture. As you can see, the temperatures are getting higher. It means better blood circulation. And at 10 minutes after acupuncture removal, it starts to cool down. But still, it is warmer than the status before acupuncture. It means that facial rejuvenation acupuncture could increase facial temperature and better blood circulation even after the treatment ends. These photos are some examples of facial cosmetic acupuncture. This picture is to treat the masseter muscle, and this is orbicularis oculi muscle acupuncture. There are many other types of new acupuncture needles. This is thread embedding acupuncture. The length is various from around 30 mm to 90 mm. There is an observable thread inside and outside the syringe hole. When we insert the needle deeply and put it out, the observable thread only remains under the skin. 
There are many styles of thread are on the market. It is usually applied for face lifting or brightening or wrinkle-free purposes. In Korea, herbal acupuncture is also popular. Some people call it pharmacopuncture. It is for the synergistic effect of herbal medicine and acupuncture. V-venom therapy is common in Korean medicine. V-venom has been applied as medicine for a long time. In the tomb of Ma Wang Tue in China, there was a description that collected V-venom was used as a skin patch to enhance the vitality. In the West, the father of medicine, Hippocrates, described the V-venom, Arcanum, which means a very mysterious remedy. This picture shows the process of how to collect V-venom. When a bee lands on a weakly electrified copper plate, it is excited by the electricity and it takes out the V-venom. After collecting and purifying, it is used by diluting it with normal saline solution from about 1000 to 1 to 30,000 to 1. This picture shows how to use B-venom acupuncture for shoulder and knee pain. This photo shows regular needle acupuncture combined with B-venom therapy. My team published a case report titled B-venom treatment for refractory post herpetic neuralgia. The patient was a 72-year-old Korean man who has severe pain and hypersensitivity in the region where he had developed herpes joster rash two years earlier. He was treated with antivirus, painkillers, steroid analgesic patch, but there's no effect. But when I treated him with B-venom acupuncture along the margins of the region once per week for four weeks, his pain was dramatically reduced. So we reported this case in the Journal of Alternative and Complementary Medicine. High-level laser is used in biomedicine. It is a surgical laser, hard laser, thermal laser. For acupuncture, we use a low-level laser. It is a biostimulation, and cosmetic laser, soft laser, and soft thermal laser. The laser has many clinical effects. Their functions are increasing angiogenesis, neovascularization, collagen production, muscle regeneration, reducing inflammation and edema, and increasing nerve regeneration, cartilage production, and bone formation. There are many types of laser therapy now. We should, but we should always wear eye protection glasses. In Korea, laser acupuncture has been applied through the government medical insurance system since 1994. Gyeong University has International Education Institute of Korean Medicine. It was established in 1998. It has a clinical observation program. It has 30 continuing education units per week for California and NCCOEM in the USA. Indi individual participants can join this program. Also, group training is available. This is a photo at the graduation ceremony of a 2019 Korean Medicine Training Program. Like these participants, I hope that we can have an opportunity to meet together in the near future. Thank you very much for your attention.